Dusty. So right in the middle, you should have a share share desktop, Cody. If you don't have that, I do, but it's uh, it's grayed out. Okay, hang on. Let me uh, let me go through and make make you a presenter with the login that you're logging. There it with. goes. All right. Are you, are you got it now? I I got it. Hey, now. my screen is changing, and I see your screen. All right, you guys see my desktop then? My 36,000 unread emails? <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. I'm going to uh, just kick this off really quickly. Again, I apologize for the uh, technical snafu there. We're also going to record uh, Cody's Dynamite presentation here and make that available as well. But um, I need to do just a a couple of quick things really fast to make my compliance guy happy on the, the broker dealer side. Um, hey, can I, uh, can I grab the screen from you for just a second? Yeah, I think that'd be best. I actually had all my windows set up before we had all those issues. So I'm trying to get back, take my all screen right, off for you, a second and let me lock, get everything up. If you stop sharing for just a second, I'll get uh, the fun broker dealer compliance slide out of the way and turn it over so people can hear you instead of me. Yeah, I, I would turn it off if I knew how, but now I don't see the, there it is. All right. Stop sharing. Okay. Awesome. Share my desktop. So really quickly here, uh, thanks everybody for coming uh, to hear about social trading uh, using apps like Skedify, which Cody's going to elaborate on quite extensively, and how it can help you gain an edge. Um, I am with Tradier Inc. and Skedify uh, and Cody are dynamite partners of ours and provide a really valuable and terrific service to traders and investors. One thing I do have to get out of the way is uh, Tradier Inc. is a parent company of Tradier Brokerage, which is a broker dealer registered with FINRA and the SIPC. Here's a nice fun set of disclaimers about us to make uh, my compliance guy really happy. And what we do as a brokerage is partner with terrific platforms like Skedify and allow them to make a seamless experience for our brokerage account holders to trade from the actionable ideas that come right across their platform. And we do that at a really terrific price. And if you go to Skedify, you can find a link to uh, open up your Trade Year Brokerage account. And I encourage you guys to do that because not only do we empower those kind of great platforms, but we do it at a really great cost of execution that you can probably not see on your screen. That's $349 an equity order and 35 cents on options contracts. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this back over to uh, Cody and let him uh, talk about everything that you guys actually came to hear instead of me. So, Cody, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. Thanks so much, Craig. Thanks for the kind words, too, about Scudify. And, yeah, we've uh, partnered up with Tradier, uh, a cut a, – a cutting edge technology brokerage firm and uh, we've partnered so that we could integrated trade here on the Scudify so that it's a one-stop shop on Scudify for anything you're looking for in trading and investing all the research you would need trying to bring it all into one central hub and that's what the Scudify vision is about and part of that is indeed social trading which is what the topic today is and I'm going to talk to you about social trading on Scudify specifically. I am chairman of Scudify. Um, let me show you real quick. I'm also publisher of um, I write Market Watch articles uh, about twice a week, sometimes three times a week. Market Watch Wall Street Journal also publishes my Revolution Investing newsletter. 
Trading with Cody, by the way, is a subscription service. I charge $99 a month or $9.99 a year for it. I tell you, any trade I'm going to make as I'm making it, send out a blast to you. I publish articles with all my research. And I even do a uh, my own personal portfolio review uh, with you once a month, listing all of my positions from largest to smallest with a revolution investing rating from one to 10. That's a topic for another day. Let's talk social trading. When you go to Scudify the first time, you'll see this landing screen, scudify.com. You're right now we're literally paying people to come on and post scuttles, which is our versions of tweets or status updates. You got 500 character limit instead of 140 character limit. And so you get a lot more meat uh, when you write on here and if you'll post something longer than 140 cents uh, between now and the end of the year so go to scudify.com ask some questions put up some opinions talk about some of your own positions and outlooks and you get paid um, I, I personally made several hundred dollars in the last few weeks because I'm so active on scudify and I get 30 cents per scuttle too so um, social trading I want to be clear here. There's no I, bullet. There's no silver bullet for investors that a magic solution that get, guarantees you or even gives you likelihood of making great money over the course of your investing and trading lifetime without a lot of hard work. You're going to have to stay on top of your positions. Even if you're a long-term investor, you, you need to know what trends are happening. Um, I, what I do approach to investing, I, I have an edge, I feel, in technology and, and, and what I call revolution investing trends, finding the biggest growth sectors in the economy over the next five or 10 years. I've done that with Apple and Google. Uh, I've done it again with Apple and Google as smartphone companies. I've done it with Facebook and more recently Twitter, I think, is a screaming buy down here around 35 bucks a share. Looking out over five or 10 years, social networking going to be much bigger than it is today social trading which we're talking about today is what scudify is uh, driving the entire industry frankly along with our partner tradier by partnering with trading tradier so what i want to talk to you first about is the fact that scudify is a community and social trading for it to be successful it's got to be a community driven effort I like to say that on Scudify, we're self-policing. We've got subscribers and all-stars that all-stars are people that I know personally um, and or are very established and respected in the industry. We're just, as much as anything, we know they're professionals that aren't trying to scam people. It doesn't mean they're right all the time. It doesn't mean their analysis is going to be right. In the future, track record's great. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody gets cold. Being an all-star doesn't ensure anything other than the fact that at least no, these guys aren't trying to scam you, which is the whole point of self-policing Scudify, too. You go to a lot of different social networks. Even Twitter has just so many people on it. It's hard to filter out and to get down to anything meaningful on Twitter just looking at, the, at their what they call cash tags, which are some similar to what we do here on Twitter, uh, on Scudify, where in any of your article, any of your tweets, and it'll come up, well, let me open some scuttles here. Actually, I'll just click on a name here. Um, Apple, for example. You click on Apple, eh, eh, that stock symbol, the, ha the cash tag itself is what you'll see in tweets. Now, We've already, even on Scudify, started filtering out anybody that we've found is just promoting mindless penny stocks, annoying stuff that you get on Twitter. We're trying to filter out. So instead of just going to Apple symbol on Twitter, which you can, and see all of the tweets out there, we've done that for you, but we've also helped filter it out. We're every day trying to find other ways to make this tweet feed from Apple's cash tag, AAPL, with the stock, with the dollar sign in front of it on Twitter, more valuable when you come 
to the when you get to Scudify. So it's not just the exact same thing you're getting on Twitter, where it can be overwhelming. Same thing with other social networks like stock twits. In, in addition to it, there being it, a lack of community, perhaps, you also have a hard time filtering out penny stock promoters who are just throwing Apple's symbol into their 140 character stock twit posting, trying to get you to actually read something about some shady penny stock company or something that you don't want anything to do with. You were just trying to research Apple. That is what a good community and social network will do for you, especially in finance. It's not just the mass, the masses that you're looking for. That doesn't give you an edge. If you want to get quick news on it, you can also get that right here on Scudify using the tweets, but you've got people that are giving you on the left side here, talking, including myself, we are in here debating these stocks, discussing uh, the companies themselves, discussing the markets. We've got professionals on here who are giving you their insights onto this stuff. You've got kids like Trader LGR, who's a college student that we've gotten to know on the community because he's on there posting, asking questions about Apple. You've got me in here talking about, I've owned Apple, by the way, personally, since it was a dollar per share back in March 2003 when I put it in my hedge fund back when I ran a hedge fund. And I've owned it ever since, other than when I was on TV and I actually sold everything I had. But luckily, I got out in 2007, was able to buy it back in 2010 when I left TV at a lower price than I'd sold it in 2007 because we'd had that huge crash. The point being, I've owned Apple forever, and I've got a lot of expertise there. And you can ask me questions on Scudify on the social network itself about Apple before you ever make a decision whether you're buying or selling or trading it. The same goes for any major stock out there. The mega caps, we had great coverage on. Micro caps, again, the self policing aspect of Scudify will kick in when people st come on here and start talking about names like, I don't know, these marijuana stocks names have been all over lately. So you get one of these, I've been helping people realize that we do not allow people to talk about these types of stocks on Scudify. We don't want it. These are micro cap penny stocks, very shady companies, probably self-promoting themselves for insider pump and dump kind of things. And we don't want that. That's what you get. You've got a million other social networks and Yahoo Finance and other places you can go to that type of stuff. The future of social trading is the ability to talk to professionals and have a self-policing community that teaches you and helps you as you go along and try to figure out the trades you're trying to make. Just this morning, we've been talking about GoPro, for example, here on Scudify. And when you get to Scudify, there's a lot of different things going on. The home page, I'll just look, show you that before we go to GoPro specifically and show you the communications we've been having there today. I'm actually going to switch over to my other browser screen because I use Chrome normally. I was just showing you the landing page there if you're not in Scudify. So I personally, when I start my trading day every day, I show up right here. It's the first site I check. Yes, I'm chairman of the company, but it's the value that the site and the social network and the community provides at every single snapshot that when you land on this page or when you, by the way, we've got great apps for iPhone, uh, iPad, Android phones, Android tablets. We've even got a Google Glass app. We are everywhere with Scudify. We want to be on every major platform. So whether you're on your smartphone or come to the site itself, you're going to get this kind of interaction and this kind of information. So you come to the home page, you can see here on the left side, you've got trending news from major very publications, Wall Street publications on the planet, New York Times Business, Bloomberg, Wall Street Journal, Market Watch, Recode, which uh, technology, what is that, Walt, Walt Mossberg used to be with Wall Street Journal, started that play, Recode. The right side, you've got your stocks, your, what we call my scuttle list. You got all your different stocks. I'll click on that in just one second. You also have what we call a premium.
Hey, Cody, you still there? Do you click on my scuttle list, for example, and excuse my slow internet, I'm out in rural New Mexico uh, showing you this today, so I, I, I don't exactly have fiber optic to the home here. Um, this is my scuttle list, for example. These are some of the stocks that I've been following that I'm interested in. I have other companies that I look at and whatnot, but my current uh, existing scuttle list that I've got uh, on my uh, page here with Scudify is this. So again, my tweets probably aren't gonna load because I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. If you had a fast internet, you'd be able to see any tweets from any of the symbols, again, that we've helped filter. So you're not getting spam in there, at least as much as you normally would on Twitter itself. On the left side, you've got any company, any of the scuttles, which is those discussions here on Scudify that people are helping other traders and investors learn about and actually have discussion. You can see GoPro. There's all kinds of comments going on about GoPro today. These guys going back. GoPro. Let me go ahead and click on the GoPro. By the way, there's also news on the right side down here on any of the stocks that uh, are in my scuttle list. And we take that straight from Yahoo Finance News, which I think does the best uh, collation of editorial news for stocks. Um, and that's the beautiful thing about Scudify again and social trading in general so that you, you can filter out and get some of the best stuff put together collated in one spot. Scudify has done, and our CEO, Kiang, uh, who founded this company, has done an amazing job of creating exactly that, the ability uh, to collate all these different sources on one stock or on any of your stocks or commodities or Forex, et cetera. Um, it's not just stocks on Scudify, that you can collate all that information on one site. And so, for example, GoPro. You got the tweets right here. Everybody is, has made it through our filters um, talking about GoPro. So you don't have to go to Twitter itself and look it up. And also, it's a value add of filtering out some of the crap that people are typing about GoPro. Um, this will over time as King and I continue to develop that. On the right side, chart news. On the left side, you got all these people actually having real discussions about GoPro. We've had all kinds of talks today. I've been um, pretty bearish on GoPro since its IPO. I own its uh, biggest supplier, Amberella, AMBA, because uh, I like that actually selling the cameras themselves, as I wrote this morning here. Um, I do like GoPros, but they need a better interface and operating margin. They have very little proprietary technology. So I think they will face declining margins and tufts in years ahead. And that has kept me out of GoPro since its IPO, I probably should have shorted the darn thing when it hit nearly a hundred bucks a share. It's down 40% since then. Um, by the way, speaking of Amberella versus GoPro, I put up a chart yesterday here on Scudify showing the outperformance of Amberella versus GoPro in the last three months. Interestingly, since it's actual Amberella are up almost identically, um, but Amberella has been a much steadier climber and hasn't had that 40% sell off um that gopro has at any rate the point is i've learned so much about gopro and amberella and so has everybody who's on scudify reading the stuff and looking at this now another feature of scudify and using social networks to become is trying to gauge sentiment you can see that 52 percent click on this here on scudify and you can actually see the sentiment for this stock or any stock um, we've got the top three users who've made great calls in the past for GoPro itself or whatever stock you're looking at. And current sentiment. You can see all these people are either bullish or bearish and the, when they put that in and uh, how long for how long of time, time frame. Now, one of the nice things about Scudify and social trading, again, is you develop transparency and a meritocratic system for 
finding the best traders and investors on the site. It happens naturally over time. They don't have to promote themselves. They know questions and giving in reasonable, insightful answers are the ones that you want to be listening to. The guys who are making great calls on these on this individual stock, you'll want to look and see what they're saying right now. And likewise, when something is wildly bullish or wildly bearish in a sentiment indicator, including on Scudify, can often mean that it's about to do the opposite. The least expected outcome is often the one you should probably expect. And that is classic contrarian kind of thing there. When sentiment is terrible, there's nobody left to sell. When sentiment is wonderful, there's nobody left to buy. And so stocks reverse at those levels. Um, with Scudify itself, part of what is so cool indeed is that from any page on any stock, let me just pull up, say, Alibaba here. You can trade from the site itself. After you've done your homework, after you've read and asked questions from professionals who are following that stock and or uh, have a question about your portfolio or your approach in general, whatever the case may be, when you finished your homework and you've decided that you want to make a trade, you can do it right from Scudify. This is what we call social trading and it is leading edge. Nobody else has done this. There are others who want to do it and trying to do it. Nobody's been able to tie in social networking with trading the way that Scudify and Tradier have already. This is, um, again, one-stop shop. You don't have to sit over there and go anywhere else. You can just log in. So say you want to log in. I'm actually already registered. We've got a, a $5,000 uh, account that we opened for Scudify um, when we were testing all this. So I'll show you what it's like for us to just log into that account here. And you can actually see without leaving the Scudify, we're approving access for trade inside of Scudify. So once you approve that access and you've logged in, you see you're actually back on Scudify. And you see here, yeah, it's about $5,000 account. We've done a couple of trades, test things out before uh, we implemented this and rolled it out to the public, and it works beautifully. Again, forgive my bit of a slower internet. Let's just say we wanted to buy Baba. Search. You can also check options on Baba. I'm just going to stick with equity here today. Let's buy, say, five shares. Market order, duration, day order. Preview, you can't click submit until you've previewed the trade. That's something that King or CEO slash developer thought was really important. And I think Tradier uh, is the same way on their site. And it's very wise. Make sure. Okay, so you can see here we're reviewing the order. It cost us about 530 bucks. Commission will be 349. Let's submit it. Just like that. We've got 10% of that portfolio in uh in Bob, and now it's been filled. We bought five shares, 500 bucks. Activity, you can see these are some of the things we've done testing out. We were testing some of the options, puts and calls. I got a feeling we probably lost money on our testing this stuff because trading's hard. That's, the, you know, you very rarely get lucky and make some quick money when you're just testing things out on a trading platform. It's the way the world works. It's why Scudify is so important because you're able to make sure you're not just throwing money around and trading for the sake of trading, trying to get an adrenaline rush or something. You want to make money. That's what the whole point is. Over the next 10,000 days of your life, as I like to say, 30 years, even if you're 60 years old, you need to be looking out the next 30 years. That's how long your money's going to last, needs to last. Plus you want to leave it some to your kids. It's about legacy too. That's what your money's for. That's what trading's for. That's what investing is for. That's why social trading is so important. It takes so much of the guessing out of it. It You don't have to call a broker. You don't have to worry about conflicts of interest. Well, yes, you always have to worry about conflicts of interest, by the way. Even on Scotify, we, again, the self-policing part is we want to make sure everybody discloses, discloses, discloses any conflicts of interest. If they're long a stock, that alone is a conflict of interest. They're talking their book when they mention that stock. So if I mention Apple, the fact I've owned it since it was at a dollar, I still own it and it's my largest per position presently, well, that should make you realize that 
I'm probably talking a little bit skewed. I can't be totally objective when I talk about Apple, can I? But then again, you probably get insights from someone like me who's owned it for a hundred time return here, 113 times return with it being at $113 and my cost basis being a dollar uh, split adjusted, adjusted by the way, it was actually $14 a share when I bought it, but it split two for one after that a couple years later. And then uh, it most recently split, split seven for one. So bringing my cost basis down to a dollar point being that the self-policing part of social networking and social trading is what's so key here you see here these guys going back and forth today and i'll guarantee you if anybody's throwing any penny stock promotions or just spamming us with their links trying to get you to click over to their website the community itself is going to call them out and ask them not to and then we get back to the meaty discussions and answering questions right here i've got an i got a kid asking me about this ipo that came out today um, I'll be on there to answer him here in a second. Um, with that, guys, I'm happy to take some questions and answers. Um, I think we've covered a lot of why social trading is so important and why Scudify itself is the leading platform of social trading and why we partnered with Tradier to create the entire uh, one-stop shop social trading idea. Um, you guys have any questions you want me to answer, Craig? If people are, if people, if you guys will type in questions, I'll certainly get them to Cody and, and have him answer them. But I just, I had a question for you. I think that, um, Please. Social trading, uh, is it, is it suited uh, for any particular kind of time or the a, a trading, investing, or, or does it matter? Does it have an impact? What are your thoughts there? <laughs> I was, what was I actually didn't hear the beginning of the question. Oh, sorry. I, I, I was just saying, um, see social trading as uh, any particular time horizon, uh, or, or oh, or, or, whether whether it's better for day traders or investors of the long term, or even swing traders, or sort of what depending on what your style and time horizon on trading is, is social trading better for one or the other? Is that your question? That's kind of the, the of it there, exactly. Excellent. So the short answer is that there isn't any particular one. It's good for everything. Even We've got guys, um, professionals who are very quick. I don't know if you call them quote unquote day traders, but short term traders that you can ask questions of. We've got options guys. And then we've got people like Kirk Spano, who's probably somewhat of a hybrid. Um, Robert Marson has uh, been profiled in Barron's and run billion dollar hedge funds and mutual funds. And he's on there every day talking, answering questions. And his time horizon is probably three to five years. And most of his, uh, he's also um, a very value centric, excuse me. <clears throat> and I think um, he's on there answering everything. I think one of the points that one of the best parts about Scudify is that again, we're not in there every day and we're not focused on giving you a quick trading idea or a hot stock tip. Um, there are guys who have developed systems that they believe in and they might be giving you some of their quick ideas. And I personally will give you some of the trades I'm making, give you some of the updates on those trades over time. Uh, to get, again, all of my trades, when I'm making them, you'd have to subscribe to Trading with Cody, which is, by the way, now also available on Scudify. Go to Premium Scuttles, and you can actually subscribe to Trading with Cody and find out every position I'm trading, every stock I'm trading, when I'm trading it, all of my positions, etc. My darn internet would show up. Here we go. You click on it, $99 a month, $9.99 annually. And from Scudify, I've now moved my entire Trading with Cody content. Anytime I publish something on tradingwithcody.com, publish it here on Scudify as a protected premium scuttle. And if you're a subscriber for a 99
bucks a month or $9.99 on Scudify to any of my services, you can actually see that right here on Scudify as it happens. I'm a long-term investor most of the time, but it doesn't mean I'm not opportunistic. I do trade options. I can be very aggressive at times. I'm a young guy, upwardly mobile. I'm not, you, I, you, I'm, you should never listen to anybody's trades without question myself included, even if it's a great trade, it might not be right for your time horizon, for your risk profile, your risk tolerance, et cetera. The point being, you can actually get a lot of that stuff right here on the site, whether it's day trading or whether it's long-term investing investing, or something in between. And we were actually featured, Scudify was featured recently in the Wall Street Journal uh, last week, talking about a slow approach to social data gathering. And that's Part of what we focused on, we're not in there trying to find out when sentiments bottomed at, at noon and maybe you can make a quick 2% in GE per se, probably all going to be helping you find out what true sentiment is like in the markets and in those positions on a little more swing trade, swing trading kind of thing. But that doesn't mean that there aren't any traders on the site getting value out of the community already. Sure. No, that, that makes complete sense. Um, I do. There's if somebody sent me a question here about the brokerage piece and if we're going to be offering uh, futures. And the answer to that is uh, it's on our, our roadmap to, to tackle here in the first half of uh, next year. I don't have anything uh, solid that I can give you as far as it's going to, to be coming uh, date. But uh, yes, that is something that we're uh, pursuing. So, um, and it, I just throw out by the way, uh, this guy, Tony Edwards, uh, does, you can see right here, the word futures. That's what he focuses on. He's got a, our most expensive current uh, subscription model here on um, on Scudify. But there is a lot of co commentary for futures, commodities, Forex, uh, gold, oil, you name it. It's being discussed here on Scudify. Um I always ask everybody who trades futures, are you sure that's a sustainable business model for you to make lots of money and minimize your risk over the next 10,000 days? But that, again, that's a topic for another day. Uh, in, indeed. No, indeed. I think, for, yeah, those are things, Cody, on that one. I would have to agree. But they have their place and uh, people to trade them. So, Absolutely. And people do. I mean, and, and you guys are in the service of providing brokerage business opportunities and services to, you know, retail guys. And if they're asking for futures, you know, you might as well provide it. It's not your job you to maintain their money. You're the broker. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. And that's why we like to uh, partner with a great idea generation and terrific trading content uh, that you have. And uh, I, I can just tell you guys, I've traded full time in a past life and amount of patient and knowledge that you can glean uh, these days from uh, social communities like Scudify uh, at, at essentially no cost other than time and a willingness to pay attention and learn is just absolutely priceless. And uh, it, it is. I mean, you're exactly right, Craig. I, I, I was a stockbroker. I've been a hedge fund manager. I've worked on Wall Street for 15 years. And I've learned more on Scudify in the last year since we've been in business than I, you know, I mean, probably than I learned in my first five years on Wall Street. And that was being in the business and having training every day back then. But the amount of perspective and insights and different uh, angles on stuff that you're able to get uh, off of Scudify and the amount of ideas you're able to get off of Scudify, it's just incredible. I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, guys. Nice. If you don't have any other questions, I think we might wrap it up, Craig. I'm getting hoarse. I think I think so. Um, I want to thank everybody for uh, coming and uh, attending. I again want to let you know that uh, right now, uh, Cody and Scudify, from a social angle, are actually running a pretty darn nice um, show where you get uh, if you can barely see it right there, just above the top of, of Cody's page there where you can get actually three months of his service uh, for free if you open That's and correct. Uh, fund a, a, a trader account. So I would- And you uh, get $200 of free, $200 $200 of free commission of, uh, from trader. 
of free trades, exactly. So, so it's you definitely take what advantage is that? of five hundred bucks worth of value uh, just for opening an account. And if you're a trader anyway, you know, get the value and uh, try out the platform. It's uh, it, you won't regret it. It's the most cutting edge platform I've used, and I've used D Trade, TD Ameritrade, Schwab, you name it. I played with them and or am currently a client of them using uh, some of those and. I, I trade here on Scudify is the way to go, guys. Yep, absolutely. Conflicted hey, interest think... noted, by the way. <laughs> yes, and uh, yeah, both of us have conflicted interest there, but we're both good guys, and we're not just trying to sell you a bill of goods, folks, just so you know. You, you Amen to that. Say... Thanks so much, Craig. Thanks, Cody. We'll talk to you later, and thanks, everybody, for coming.